What's up, my name's Seknobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get custom skins for Notepad++. Why exactly would you want them? Well, sometimes looking at Notepad like this, using Notepad++ specifically for highlighting, can be a bit bright after looking at it for a while. This is my webpage over here. This is a sample piece of XML code, C code, and of course, just plain text. While these obviously aren't too harsh to look at, having a dark mode theme would be much better. So how exactly do we get one for Notepad++? Well, if you want to use one of the ones with Notepad or see which ones are already installed, you can hit settings at the very top, then style configurator. Inside of here, under the select theme tab at the top, we have a whole bunch of skins that we can scroll between by simply hovering here and scrolling up and down. Now, of course, there are a couple of dark mode themes here already, some of them that are just horribly bright, etc. But it's all up to your preference. Some of them contain custom fonts, etc. So there's that. How exactly do we go ahead and download external fonts such as the Dracula dark theme or say the Notepad++ material theme? Well, all you need is simply an XML file such as the one over here or the one that you can get from the Dracula website by simply clicking a link. These will both be linked in the description down below. You'll find the Dracula link and a direct link to this XML page and of course a link to the Notepad++ material theme and a link directly to this page here. If you're on GitHub, simply just click raw after clicking on the file, then right click save as and simply save it as whatever you want .xml. We'll do the same for the Dracula page over here. After saving both of these, where do we put them? Well, hold start, press R to bring up the run dialog box and then type percentage app data percentage backslash and then start typing in notepad until you see notepad plus plus. You can simply click on it and then click OK. After doing this, a new Explorer dialog will open. Simply open up the themes folder and then drag and drop the files that we just downloaded into here. I'll drag both of these in. After doing this, simply head back to Notepad++, once again, Settings, Style Configurator, and from the very top, we should see our new themes here. If not, simply close out of Notepad++ and reopen it. When it reopens, Settings, Style Configurator, and we can choose it here. So we can choose the Dracula theme that we just downloaded, which affects plain text, C code, XAML code, HTML code, etc, etc. I'm showing you all of these as you'll see different examples as we go through them. Plain text is the least noticeable between them. We can also have a look at the other one, which was the material theme. Over here, save and close. Now, of course, there was quite a big difference in font. Same for C code, XAML code and HTML code. Now, of course, it's all down to user preference and there's thousands and thousands of themes as long as you Google for them. Once you find what you like, you can simply leave it as is. And every time that you restart Notepad++, this theme should automatically be activated and there's nothing else you have to do for it to work. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. Have yourself a great new year. Otherwise, if you're watching this at some stage in the future, I hope you have a great day. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.